The animation documentary Toss is filmed by Jennifer June. This documentary is about her childhood and the history of her parents' hometown, which is China. Jennifer's parents are all Chinese, while she grew up in the Western country, and she often thinks that she is a white person. So uh, this documentary takes the form of interview. Jennifer interviewed her mother in English. Uh, and her mother answers in answered in Chinese, which is very like a cultural communication. So in this presentation, I will analyze the three parts of this documentary, which are mode, content, and style, as well as the relationship of these three parts. Um, first, is about the mode that this documentary used. Actually, documentary often uh, mixed different modes. This documentary is no exception. It uses two modes to show the whole story, which is the participatory and performative. The participatory mode aims for immediacy and often presents the filmmakers' points of view. So uh, the participatory is reflected in the interaction between the filmmaker and interviewee. This documentary is conducted through a form of dialogue. And the whole documentary is built on the form of dialogue because the relationship of the interviewer and the interviewee are mother and daughter. This mode can make this documentary very natural and real. A performative documentary emphasizes the filmmaker's own involvement with the subject. So uh, in, the, in the early part of this documentary, Jennifer ask, asked questions about her mother's childhood and uh, some Chinese history. But in the second half of the documentary, Jennifer goes from interviewer to participant, telling some of her own feelings in the documentary. And then her mother gives her some responses. So it's very subjective. And in this mode, Jennifer discussed many of her ideas with her mother. So the choice of mode of this documentary is very clear, which uses the modes of participatory and performative. Uh, and then about the content, animation can be used uh, as ve vehicle for telling stories, expression, ideas. So, uh, so whatever purpose the medium is being used for, the content is significant. So what is this animation documentary really about? This documentary is actually about the history of the Cultural Revolution in China and the experiences of Jennifer's mother's childhood as well as her own childhood in Western country. It's all presented by using animation. For example, when introducing uh, Mao Zedong at the beginning, the animation shows the um, portrait of Mao Zedong. This animation are very simple, but it shows the content very clear. This animation looks very real and uh, do not deliberately uh, exact exaggerate. So. They are very helpful in explaining the content of this documentary. And uh, the style of this documentary is mainly reflected in the color of uh, and the language. The choice of color are all strong colors, such as red and blue. In addition, color plays a key role in uh, the in showing people of different races, such as right being, uh, such as right being the color of Jennifer's parents, uh, who are Asian, well, white people is the color of pink. In terms of the language, Jennifer uses English to uh, interview her mother, while her mother answered her in Chinese. This is more consistent with the theme of this documentary. So the mode, content, and the style of this documentary 
established the final form. The style of the documentary, which includes color and the use of uh, two languages, is, deter uh, is determined by contact. The mode established the structure of the documentary. So these three aspects interact to create the final form. So uh, thanks for watching.